Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Potassium seems to be the big word today, but it should be because potassium plays a major role within our neurological system as well as our muscles. If you're having any kind of pain, nerve transmission, muscle spasm, charley horse, or anything that's going on within your body, as well as palpitations within the heart, potassium may be the miracle for you. And studies show that increased potassium may help prevent hardening of the arteries, which contributes to serious heart-related conditions. Hardening of the arteries, or known as atherosclerosis, causes plaque of fat, cholesterol, calcium, and other substances that can reduce the blood flow. And lack of blood flow to the heart we call a heart attack, and lack of blood flow to the brain we call a stroke. And low levels of potassium is linked to high blood pressure. And it's known that increasing potassium can help lower your blood pressure. But here is the big problem. Most of us are potassium deficient. With the foods that we eat, as well as the medications, particularly diuretics, we are losing so much potassium and we don't know it. Now you should be getting 3,500 to 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day. And that's a lot. And you're not getting it. Now here is something even more shocking, is that when you buy potassium supplements, you cannot get it more than 99 milligrams per tablet. Now look at this, 47 of these tablets is our daily allowance. Can you imagine taking 47 pills at one time just to get your daily allowance of potassium? So figure this, a banana has 400 plus milligrams of potassium. We have to eat seven and a half bananas just to get our recommended daily allowance of potassium in our body. We're gonna go monkeys because of that. So let me give you a quick rundown of the best potassium foods that you should be eating daily to keep you healthy. We can see that the highest amount of foods with potassium are your white beans and lima beans. Now all your beans are very good. Lentils are excellent as well. Right below lentils, you have chickpeas, yam, your beet greens, raisin almonds, poppy seeds. The three fishes are salmon, halibut, and tuna. Your oats, your quinoa, your spinach, parsley. And those are all great sources of potassium to start putting into your diet today. So let's not go bananas together. Let's keep it simple. I hope that these foods make a big change in your health. Potassium is such a major mineral within our electrolytes. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.